Deployed plywood goes here. Template goes here. So happy days, sweetness. I can step on this now, no problem. That's really no problem. Oh, no problem. I said. Uh huh. All right. So I needed to cut. Yeah, there's an indentation here, so I need to cut this also. Okay. Let's see. Is there one here? Not really. Just one here. So I've traced that area here, so I'm just gonna get my hole cutter and just cut some holes in this. Alright, so ah that's in there, man. This is This is like it was designed to fail, man. Who made this shit? Yeah, so I'll have to pack this with something. Otherwise it's gonna crack. But the whole thing is in here. And everything apart from that area there seems to be fine. Even this crack here. So I'm happy about that. But who did this shit? Should be fucking fired, I think. Right. Yeah, this is supposed to be packed with something because otherwise it's gonna break instantly. Another thing that I'll have to do is measure this and make a like a platform here and make another platform here. Right, so this is ready now to apply the plywood, finish this wall, and I'll do this wall and then start doing the stupid toilet. Uh, yeah, it's, when you do shit like this, it just seems like it never fucking ends, man. You always have to add another plank and another. It's just so frustrating that it never ends. But it, it's, it's getting there. I'll put a piece of polystyrene here. Uh, I don't know yet what to cover it on the other side, but I'll figure that out. Um, yeah, now that's... I've added this, because this is that edge right here. So that can go in this edge. It's got a couple of screw holes, so that's the purpose of that. Yeah, and now I'll do my magic to cut in one piece this side. And then I'll start doing this side and then assemble the toilet, start building the support for the shower and start assembling it. Maybe put a wall here and here. I'm not sure if that's gonna be today, but yeah. All right, so this is the, the entire wall piece. What I'll try and do is stand it up here like so. As far as it can, it can possibly go like that. Yeah. My plan was to trace it by hand like that, but maybe not this plan. Hmm. All right, I got an idea. Get this and that cut off down there and then take it as close as I can and then trace it. Yeah, so I fucked this one up. I've cut too much out of it. You can't. Here it is, my non-perfect wall. It's in. I'm not too bothered because I'm gonna cover this in, uh, in plastic. In PVC um, something. So that should be alright. Ding. I just need to add another sheet here on top to like hold it and staple that to this. Like I said, it never fucking ends. And then start doing this wall and decide what to do with this window. Just with this 
window cover is significantly less light in here. So if I cover that, um, yeah, not sure if I should cover that. Hmm. Just had an idea now. Since the toilet won't be here, probably won't be needing that window. But I can move this window to here. Like I said, it never fucking ends. And cover the rest of this. So that can go. And I'll just leave that one in. Which might be a really good idea. Cover that one there. Hmm. So, if I measure correctly, so my shower, my shower box is gonna come. Let's, let's have a look. So that's the toilet going here, like so. Maybe, maybe like that. going to here plus 10 centimeters because that thing is bigger so roughly somewhere here that gives me 35 centimeters 30 35 that 35 that's perfect, man. Move this here. Cover this. Take the take the window out. Wow, what a shame! Cause this, if that would fit here, cause that one is cracked, that would have been nice. But hey, fuck it. So yeah, give myself thirty-five here. Cover. Yeah. All right. So there's been work done. This wall, you know, this window I started covering. That's gonna be here. I already moved this. Hopefully, I'm gonna find a aluminium sheet to cover the outside and the outside of this and the outside of that, which, by the way, I need to measure. I'm um, going to get more thin plywood and 5 mil plywood to start building the, the shower enclosure. Um, to approach, I was thinking how to approach the roof um, build. I'm just going to build a shower first and then fit the remaining of the roof around the shower. I think I'll do that because the shower needs uh, some special treatment anyway so I'll probably do that yeah. uh, I've added these I've rerouted that wire and uh, extended it I've soldered some another wire extension here and then these this goes somewhere in a bundle there and there's another soldering here because this wire needs to be accessible, well, you know, I didn't stick this part, so that that this has got screws. Now, maybe I'll think of another mechanism uh, after I put the bathroom in. Maybe I'll just make something so I could slide it in. But then again, I don't know. So I got this tape I was a bit reluctant 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 to buy it because it was nine pounds but now I'm so happy I did it's such a cool tape it sticks like a motherfucker and yeah I love it it's fucking amazing 
just super solid. So what I'll do is do a couple of lines like that and then a couple of lines like this and that should be it. Next I'll do this window. Same. And I'll do that window. This way I can put the bathroom window here and seal it. There's been some work done, i.e. I made this wall, everything's nice. Uh, that one there is for the toilet starting, that's the toilet ending. This is the size of the toilet and the shower. I made all the windows closed, that's cool. This is lockable, so it's secure now. So like I said, this, this wall has been done. That has been done. It's pretty solid. I like it. The only half piece is this, but it's alright. Uh, cables are under there, so I kind of needed to have access to that. The toilet wall is going to be like that, following this line. Here, there's going to be a tiny storage space for a mop and stuff. I don't know. Stuff. Yeah. Now it's beginning to look like a blank canvas. Finally, these windows are all lockable. I made this one, so this was a fixed window, but I made it so that you can open it now, which is great. There's a little gap here, but I have more of this, so I'll just cut to fill it, because there's air coming in here. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Finally, I can get to building it on the inside like I was supposed to ages ago all right this tape I say all right a lot it's okay this the only th annoying thing about this tape is trying to separate it in the beginning which is a good thing because that means the glue is proper so there it is that's how you tape this It's pretty, like, not tough when it's only one layer, but if it's multiple layers, it becomes strong. It's a pretty nice tape, I like this tape. There you go all the way, and that's it. I'll finish it off with one here so it looks nice. Strong. And I think it's paintable because aluminum is on my hands. So it's brilliant to cover up and paint. Right, so there's been some progress. That's the cabin. Still needs to put plastic here and there, cladding. That's gonna be there because this is 10 centimeters wider than the shower. I'm thinking to put something like that. And then imagine this is the plastic cladding that just goes like that you know what I mean and here also I'll have to do some smart work like that but for now so that all the shower water goes where it should I'm just gonna make something like this so it goes like that uh -huh. I might just build a little wall here, bang and bang, have a hollow section there. Ding. So I made these so I can put this semi ceiling here. Bang, insulation. I've got like these two sheets. I could just shove in here, like so. Alright. Okay. And now, quickly, before this falls, put the blanket. Bang. Yeah, now it's here. Alright. 
Yeah, I've stuck this yesterday when it was kind of humid. I think it didn't stuck properly because it was humid. But this is just one layer. I need to come back with these layers anyway. That's what I did yesterday. Window, 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 when I moved this. It's 8 a.m. now. Luckily, this is in the proximity of my house because otherwise I wouldn't be here at 8 a.m. How do you open this? Okay. Whoa. Who did this? Chavim Noah H. Assis. The Tooth Fairy. <laughs> yeah, so... I built this toilet. I started it. It's pretty... It's pretty nice. Like, the size is alright. I like it. Oh. Don't break the toilet. As a toilet unit, this guy stuck it with some mastic. I don't know what the fuck this is. It's like a play doh thing. This is gonna have to go out, but that's in the end. It's got a little neat storage compartment here that we could put like I don't know, cleaning stuff in it. Um, this is some more storage here. That's really cool. I don't know, you could put eggs here, I don't know what the fuck. Alright, this needs some handles, obviously. Some suction cup handles or something. Some more storage, that's a light. Turn it on from here. Shower guns here, but this is sweet. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy with this. Started building this wall now that the glue is set. It's quite strong now. All right, what I have to do now is cut this blade for this wall. Put another one of these here in the middle, and another one there. So then, when I come with the wall, I just cover it. This wall is the only one that will have screws. But it's still gonna be glued. Yeah. Uh, in continuation of this, I'll have like a like a shelf made or something. But obviously not that deep. It's probably gonna be like this deep. Like that. Bang. Like a shelf unit here with all the stuff in, the stereo and stuff. And on top of it, the kids' bed with a little ladder from here, or maybe if I leave some space from here so you can climb bam 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 up into the bed. This is the light connection that I'm gonna test right now. And this is the pump switch. Huh. Sweet. You can have it on hot or cold. Nice. Uh, and these things. Ah, oh, sweet. They just come out like that, but I can just put my hose in here and clamp it. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, nice. Ah, plastic. The PVC. I'll have to put PVC. PVC, PVC on these walls and then assemble. I'll have to cut the hole for the toilet also, which is... I don't know how to do that yet. I'll have to reinforce this side and reinforce that side in case someone steps there so it doesn't crack open. So here, because this whole thing sits on this, I have to create like a little support 
like a three-legged legged table. I'm gonna do the same for that section over there. So it's nice and strong. My goal is not to have this flex because if it flexes, if it flexes, that means breakage. We don't like breakage. Here's a three-legged crooked table. This section is for yeah. So I'm just gonna measure this and see where we stand. All right. So this is my little table here. And if I push the shower tray in, it fits and it's perfect. It's perfect. Step on it, nothing happens. Great. Now I'll have to bolt it in the floor and put the other table in, bolt that one in the floor. So, did some more work. This framing is done, but you know that. I've put the cladding on that wall. So what I do is the first two are going all the way down to support it. And then the third one, because the toilet is there, doesn't need to go down. So that means the third one is one of the pieces that got left. And I have another piece there that's the same size so that can go first there. And I've got a long piece that can go here or in the corner there or I don't know. Yeah, but it's consistent. I want to make it consistent so that section where the water goes is made out of this thing. Another thing I did, all the support for this shower is in place. So see how it looks. Bang, bang, bang. It's one, two, three there. And on the bottom I have this, so it's nice and strong. So, I tiled this wall and that wall. I left that short because the toilet is covering it anyway. There's going to be a silicone bead there. I messed up here because eventually I'll build like a another part. But I can just silicone the seam here and just continue with whatever I want to make the door. These things were only 25 pounds. Paulina bought them from eBay. Pretty good stuff. Looks really nice. And then here, this wall, it's going to be the normal PVC thing that I bought. No color. Just corrugated plastic, I think it's called. And the rest of it is going to be corrugated plastic also. Whatever this door needs. And stuff like that. Those parts there, maybe there'll be this. I don't know. I still have some bits to do the ceiling, so I can do the ceiling also, and then on the seams, silicone. So to glue those things in, the glue that I'm going to use is the Evo Stick TX5, it doesn't matter, it says it's for trade only bitch, PVC wood chipboard, wood PVC, that should be alright, to apply it I'm going to sacrifice one of these nice um, uh, you know, the brushes I got in a set. Let's do this. Hmm. It's like a Vaseline. That's really nice. Wondering if you're supposed to mix it first. Probably are. It smells like. Uh, Prevantes, it's this thing we have that you, you stick shoes with. Hmm. Poo smells like that. Right, let me find a stick. Yeah, you're supposed to mix it. Alright, so let's glue this stuff. Nice. It works amazingly with a brush. Like I wanted it to. Man, this shit can seriously get you high. <coughs> Fuck, I know. Let's get some area. Uh, that stuff's so powerful, man.
fuck? It's messy, that thing. Okay, that's in, that's in. Let's stick it. Do not inhale. So upon measuring and measuring and cutting a bit more and measuring again and blah blah blah. I have this wall section right here. It's easier if I put it from down there first. Here we go. There it is. I'll get the high glue out. Glue it and then start doing in the rest. Alright, so these, that's how these look. Just gonna put these screws here. There's police everywhere. That's crazy. <laughs> like that siren kept going on. Still is not. Alright, so I'll put these screws here. Put the caps on. Like that. Secure this, then put these screws here. And then finally come in with big fellow over there so there's been some more work done this is fixed now all these screws are in everything's in I fixed this one to the wall and this also so everything is cool and now I'm cutting the plank for for these one two three there cutting the plank for the ceiling and I've cut it wrong because fuck my life and now I just I'm just gonna complete this with another strip. After that I'll use this stuff to go one piece from here and then bend it there. That succeeds. Yeah. Alright, so the one piece experiment works. It's tested, it's working. Now I'll get back on the glue again. Happy me. So the ceiling is in. It's nice. So that's the toilet, kind of. Toilet slash shower. All I have to do now is go and eat something because I'm starving. But like, it's done, man. I put these here to hold the thing. And that's lower than this. Fuck it. Doesn't really matter. What I'll need to do next is put some silicone bead around here and around all the edges. And here, I messed up this, but hey. Yeah, silicone beads all around. And after I eat something, I'll make this wall. Bang. And then this side, that side, and build a door out of something. I'll have a lot of this left so I can just build a door out of it. But yeah, I'm happy.